I've got a question for you today. Have you thought about investing your money into Onward Capital? Do you think it's a legit company or is it all a scam? Let's find out. And before we get started, make sure you like this video, share this video, subscribe and click that bell icon. So every time I bring in a new video, you will be notified right away. Down in the comments below, go to my website, epiclifehq.com to learn how to build a legitimate business online where we will actually help you to launch it. Uh, we'll help you get your first sale and we'll help you throughout the process and you will be able to get a one on one mentor, guys. So let's get into this company here that I just found out and the name is Onward Capital and we're going to find out if this is a legit company or is it a scam. So since uh, I've been learning a lot about this M MLN world uh, not that long ago, actually I just really got really interested in starting learning more about this world because I've seen how many people are getting scammed. So I decided to start doing a review and um, then I kept doing a couple more and I run into Onward Capital. So they claim to give you a 4.5% ROI. So ROI means return on investment, right? So if you invest a certain amount of money, you will get 4.5 of that, which is pretty good if you think about it. You know, I mean, I could become a billionaire just doing that, right? Uh, let's look more into it because I really want to find out if this is an actual legit company or if this is another Ponzi scam. Uh, make sure you stick with me until the end because I'm going to show you some really revealing information that you might not know. Uh, you need to know this before you decide to invest money with these guys. So I'm just uh, trying to help you out here. You can make your choice, but at least know this info. Um, so this is one of the first things I look into when uh, researching these companies. Um, so I was searching for their about page, you know, about uh, their about us on, on, the, on their website. And, but they don't even have one, you know, so kind of strange, right? Because I mean, uh, any legit company always has an about us. You go to any legit, any website pretty much that you go online that you're trying to buy something or pretty much there's always like an about me or about us section. So none of that, but I was actually able to find out that uh, they do have a CEO. His name is Oscar Finnegan. That's apparently his name. And this is the guy right here on the picture. He's got a cool uh, looking style there. He's got the beard and, you know, the cool hairstyle. And so it seems like this company, like, cares about the environment so uh, they claim that uh, they, they're all about like the environmental technologies you know to help the world with all the harmful emissions you know and um, so you're supposedly going to be investing on this type of things uh, these are things related to like green energy recycling and even eco cities I mean this is crazy this is amazing uh, that seems like a good thing to Actually, it seems like a pretty good cause to me, you know. These guys must be really amazing people for doing this. In fact, that is a super good cause. Uh, that's something that I would actually do myself. If it was actually a legit company doing it and not a scam. But let's look more into this before we make any decisions. So then what I did is that I tried to find this guy, um, Oscar Finnegan. Um, but, uh, I tried to find him online, you know, but, uh, unfortunately I could not find him on any social medias at all. Um, you know, these days, most people have social medias guys. I mean, um, it's, 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 it's kind of hard. I mean, I understand that some people don't want it and most people I know actually do have at least like a Facebook account, but I mean, some might not, maybe some of you guys might not like it. I understand that you don't have to have one, but come on guys, if you're going to be a CEO of a company, especially an investment company, 
at least you would think that you would find him on LinkedIn or something like that, right? Uh, usually LinkedIn is pretty professional. You can pretty much find anyone there that like a CEO or like people like that. But this guy is really nowhere to be found. And it's almost like this guy doesn't even exist. So could this guy be like an actual paid actor? Uh, not, it seems to me so... I'm starting to believe that this guy could be a paid actor and I say this only because I know this is totally possible and this is something that has actually that I've actually seen in these previous MLM company scams uh, actually that uh, Burex was one of them a few days ago I don't know what really happened to him but it seems like they just disappeared or whatever's going on with those guys so you're welcome to check out my reviews on that uh, check the link below and if you want to learn more about those guys and i honestly don't understand how someone could actually get hired to do this so who would actually you know like i don't know how much money they're gonna pay them or anything it's like hey you know i i need to hire you you want to do this you know it's like i need to i need an actor to run my scam you know so you know when when you have something like this guys this is like a huge red flag to me okay so i wouldn't get involved already knowing what i've told you so far only okay so um uh, supposedly onward capital's ceo is from canada okay so this is really interesting guys this is you really have to check this one out because um i actually have a couple of friends from canada you know and i talk to them all the time uh very good friends and so I called one of them and just to see what he thought about um, this whole thing, you know. And so he told me that this guy's accent, or there's going to be a, a video that I want to show you guys, but uh, he told me this guy's accent does not sound from Quebec at all in Canada. So um, I'm going to play you guys a little bit of his video. And I mean, I can't tell, I'm not someone to tell you if they sound from there or not, but, um, you know, someone from Canada is definitely able to spot like a French Canadian accent, you know, so, and in fact, um, my friend also, he was not the only one, but like he showed it to a couple of other of his friends and they all, they're like, yeah, I mean, this guy it's for real. It's like, if you're from a certain place, you know, if someone doesn't sound like from where they are, right? Um, so something really strange going on here already and also when um you know uh, in in this video that i'm going to show you guys uh, just keep in mind that uh you know towards the end uh it's going to be like a press conference kind of thing and they ask him questions but you can never see the people asking the questions so it's really weird i think it's totally staged um so take a look at it and it's also keep in mind that he's always watching like at one angle only like he doesn't move usually when you talk to people you kind of move around and take a look at all of them right but like he's just kind of like reading this teleprompter or something so it's like pretty strange right like to give a uh, it's a little bit ridiculous to be honest so let's check a little bit out uh, i'm gonna show you just uh, just a little bit guys yes. who burn together with our company so we decided that the allocated advertising cost will be much more profitable to distribute among active partners and existing clients of the company who recommended our yeah, business among take individual those eyes and off that teleprompter right there which right significantly increases the Just keep reading that good reader around the world yeah this guy knows how to read and him. it is understood that for such mutuality beneficial work, our company provides a monetary reward as a percentage of your results. You can read more about this. This is, uh, uh, I mean, I just, uh, just thought that was a little bit funny. Just, you know, check out the, the video. I, I put in a link right here on my blog. There's an, if you want to check out the whole video, but just uh, check it out for yourself. And so, Onward Capital Incorporation, so they do have an incorporation in Canada somehow, okay? So, uh, you know, I understand that some of you might think that they are legit because they do have an incorporation and, you know, like an incorporation sounds sort of like a legal 
term or like a legal thing in a sense, right? Oh, these guys are incorporated. That means they must be legitimate. But the reality is that for these MLM companies, this doesn't really mean anything. In order for them to be legit, in Canada at least, and I know this is also true in the U.S., um, they would need to... Uh, they would need a registration with the securities regulator in all provinces and territories in Canada, which they do not have, okay? So, you might have heard of um, Scam Alert Global. Uh, they have a very popular Facebook page. Uh, but if you don't know who they are, they are very reputable scam busting organization. And they have just confirmed that some of the top promoters of the company are fake as well. So this is very bad news, guys. This is not looking good at all. Um, so I'm going to show you guys a picture. It's going to be coming down below from this guy. Matthew Marser, supposedly, is one of the top guys in the company. And he's apparently, you know like one of the leaders or something. Uh, I'm not sure what he does there, but um, he's got this picture here, right? And um, actually, let me, let me just show it to you right here. It's a little bit kind of small, but this guy here, okay, Matthew Mercer. That's who he claims he is, but this is not his, uh, this, this picture doesn't belong to that name, okay? So, Scamler says, we have identified one of the top promoters. Unfortunately, this is a fake account and is using a stolen image. His name is not Matthew Mercer. And this is um, what I want to read real fast from a Scamler. I give the, my congratulations for these guys to, you know being able to spot this, but uh, we are using a scam warning on Onward Capital. Uh, reasons, they're not registered with OSC. OSC stands for Ontario Securities Commission in Canada. The financial market is regulated at the provincial, provincial level. The government body that regulate the market in Ontario or OSC. In fact, they don't know what OSC is. It means they are not even located in Canada. Fake address. The address belongs to an apartment complex in Toronto, and yet not unit number. Weird. This is really weird, guys. Impossibly high return. When you see a daily return or investment, it is usually bad news because those are not sustainable. MLM structure. The company is offering MLM's style investment opportunity. In Canada, those are illegal. All right, guys. This is illegal in Canada. We consider this a Ponzi pyramid scheme. Name chip domain, we have seen other years, many scams companies, this is when they talk about how they register their domains. Fake CEO, the CEO isn't from Canada. He doesn't have a Quebec accent, he's original known. And I know it's because of my, I call my friends, guys, and they, they say like the guy doesn't sound from Quebec. So uh, this is all legit here. These are the laws. And... Um, yeah, guys, so I just wanted to let you know this. And so let's check out the traffic also from this. Like, where are the visitors coming in from this website, right? So most of them are from Russia, India, USA, Namibia, and Czech Republic. So there is a very high chance that the people behind the operations could be from India or Russia. And in fact, uh, all of these countries mentioned... Um, most of the traffic is actually the top two countries are India and Russia. So this is pretty interesting, right? Like um, they have most of the traffic coming in from those countries. So guys, what are my, my final real thoughts here for you? Well, I want to warn you that this is in fact, in my opinion, a real scam. And don't invest here because you're going to lose all your money. And think of this in a logical way. Uh, if these companies were actually legit, most people would be millionaires by now. Just do the math, you know, with this kind of returns, you know. And um, this is not how the real world works, guys. Uh, in fact, if you see any interviews with real millionaires, there's great podcasts that you can find out. Uh, you can find on YouTube uh, successful people. They all talk about how they actually worked hard 
uh, to achieve this goal. So this is, you can do this, you can achieve be, like becoming a millionaire if you want, but I want to be honest to you, it does require work, hard work and discipline. And uh, it, there's not like an easy way like that, like a fast making money online kind of thing that like that's not how it works. So you can actually do it. So um, just uh, before we end here, just uh, remember to share this video, subscribe and click the bell icon. So every time I bring in a new video, you will be notified and go to epiclifehq.com in the link below. And this way you will be able to connect with us and learn how to build a legit online business. And we're going to be helping you launch it, how to how all the legalities that go into it, how you build it. Uh, feel free to take a peek at my YouTube channel because I have a lot of content of all the stuff that I've been learning actually from an amazing mentor that I got in touch some months ago and I've been learning so much. Um, you're going to be able to to learn so much. So follow me on, uh, just go to my blog and you can follow me on the social medias. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so because I'm going to be bringing you a lot of good content and i'm gonna keep doing these reviews and exposing these people for what they are you know they're just scammers um stealing your money and uh they make it sound kind of like legit because they put up all these fake videos in conferences and things that kind of look and video guys you can do a lot of stuff with video guys i've been learning just i can teach you guys if you Check out my YouTube channel. I got a bunch of videos uh, where I show you c how to do videos and stuff, you know. So there's a lot that you can do with video. Uh, for example, those promo videos where it looks really cool, like you're flying on top of like a city and everything. You can get a drone for like 200 bucks and then you can fly a drone and take a picture of that. And you can do amazing looking videos for cheap. So the stuff that you can do this day. So this stuff that these guys are putting out there is not that hard to it takes a couple of hours just to learn how to do it and anyone can put in like a fake video like that so just wanted to um, you know help you out here don't invest in these scams and invest in real things you know and uh, invest in yourself and in real ways to actually make enough to make a, a real passive income so i will see you in my next video and thank you so much for watching